What up, it's your girl Najee. Everybody hates K, but everything golden. And you're listening to T7M Radio with my man's Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. I, I want to talk Stephen A. Smith. Let's get it. Now, I, I want to kind of get about the reaction that Stephen A. Smith has and has had towards Kevin Durant and in the past. Now, he just recently been on the A's. I mean, he's been trending for the last 24, 48 hours. Um, he made the statement, J.O., of course, that you know that he felt like KD, that was the weakest move that a superstar has ever made in NBA history. This is why I do not like Stephen A. Because to me, he is a certified dick rider. Now, mm. a couple years back, 2014, 2000, now 2013, 2010 through 2013, he's basically lo- loving LeBron. We watch first take all the time. He, they made him flip the, the switch a little bit on the ESPN first take. He got a little bit turned up trying to criticize LeBron. LeBron stopped giving him interviews. Now all of a sudden, Kevin Durant is arguably the best player, or at least the second best player in the NBA. Then Kevin Durant wins the MVP. Skip Bayless was dick riding Kevin Durant. Then Kevin Durant said something to Skip Bayless. Now Skip Bayless is all critical of Kevin Durant. Well, Skip Bayless wound up his thing, you know. But for 2015 come, we got the Steph Curry or the Steph Curry wave. Now LeBron doesn't give Stephen A. Smith any interviews anymore. Now Steph Curry is now the best player in the NBA. This is coming out of Stephen A.'s mouth. As of earlier this year. Then, when the reports came from the Lakers and he disputed what Stephen A. said and called him a liar, start shitting on Kevin Durant after he's been dick riding this guy for years. The reason why I say all this is because every time a player, an athlete, has an opinion disputing something that Stephen A. says, his whole aura flips. He will always start his little argument saying that. Kevin Durant's a good guy. The NBA deserves him. He's good for, you know. And then he gets into his bullshit. I just think that it's real bitch made when niggas do shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? And regardless if your points are right or wrong, it's just too bitch made for me. And he always do that shit. So he calling KB's move to go to state the weakest move that he's seen a superstar in the NBA. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to say Ray Allen is a fucking superstar, but Ray Allen is a Hall of Famer, and I didn't hear Stephen A. Smith do this when Steve, when Ray Allen left Boston to go to Miami. And it was pretty much the same fucking deal. And he didn't do all this. But because Kevin Durant, this little rift that they've been having, now this nigga gets to be a trending topic talking big shit now. Now the skip this is gone. This is just perfect opportunity for Stephen A. to really make a name for himself right now. But it's always the same shit with Stephen A. Smith. And then when he making his points up about how people feel like they compare this situation with LeBron going to Miami and he say no it's not the same because LeBron had guys from Cleveland like Mo Williams and he keeps bringing up Mo Williams name in a disrespectful manner. The last time I checked, Mo Williams is an NBA champion now. With the Cleveland Cavaliers, the same team that he grinded with with LeBron before. Stephen A just get a little bit too disrespectful for it. Glenn Robinson already said he was going to put hands on him. Now. I'm really starting not to like this guy. I mean, I'm really not. First Tick was really my favorite show based off of the entertainment. It really wasn't about the information because they try to portray like whatever they say is right. I just like the back and forth of debate and the funny faces that Skip makes and the reactions and all that and the whole Tebo and just to, and just to see one person like Skip Bayless constantly hate on somebody like LeBron James every episode shit like that. The entertainment factor made it so fun for me. But when I just look and step and look at how this guy move it's always some fuck shit when it comes to Stephen A. Smith what's your thoughts on um, you know how this man how he reacts and, and his opinions and shit like that man let me let, where do I get him with Stephen A. Smith everything you said was facts and Stephen A. was I mean first of all I've always had respect for him and, and even though I've, I've been losing respect for him I still got respect his resume but Right. 
him and him, him, him and Durant had a little issue about he say she say, and then you had Stephen A. Smith come on the air talking about threatening, talking about I will find you and Thank blah, you. blah 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 all you. this bullshit. So really, I feel like he the word I will use for Stephen A. Smith at this moment is unprofessional because he using personal feelings with just delivering the news and being being real about it. And I also lost respect for Stephen A. Smith when he just disrespected Kerry Weiss on national TV. I mean, yep. I, I can understand if you be like, yo, you know, Kerry Weiss, you know, it might be a little distraction. But you sit there comparing that to LeBron Weiss and say LeBron Weiss is quiet. She don't, but, but, he basically called her home ratchet and left a, and left a word. But you just put the icing on the cake. Because I just talked about how he did ride. He proclaimed Steph Curry to be the best player in the NBA all season. Then look who beat Steph Curry in the finals. The guy who you proclaimed to be the best before. Now all of a sudden Steph Curry didn't get it done. He's a pretty boy. He's a choker. And I said Curry need to do like like you just brought up. Like he 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 rides waves unbelievably. Now he's written, I mean, and it's, it's no, I'm not having said that he shouldn't criticize, you know what I mean, that's whatever, but it's just the I level just that he like, do is just unreal, he a puppet. I felt like he didn't have to, all the other, everybody else in the media, they just laughed it off and they didn't say nothing about it. I mean, he, he came on his platform and, and he made it a stage. I don't care, you don't go out an NBA player's wife, that's just unwritten rules, if, especially if you in Steve A. Smith was supposed to be well respected. You don't just spend the whole uh, segment just disrespecting his wife. You just laugh it off, it, or don't even have a topic about it. You know what I'm saying? Talk about the man wife see, like that. Like, that but see, this is the shit that I don't like. And, and you, and you, 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 you hitting everything on the nose because you're talking about man rules and the code and the G code. You know, this guy get on the fucking TV talking about he's from Hollis, Queens, and New York is hometown. He try to show off for them white people and he do that dumb shit. And I'm just like, Steve A. Smith is desperate because Skip Bay left the show because he felt like he had better opportunities like Kevin Durant. And yep. right now, the show is about to go in the drain because it was about Skip Bayley's brain. Skip Bayley was, 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 Bailey was the yep. superstar uh, of the show. Now he's uh, now you got... You got uh, you got Stephen A. Smith is just reaching for any type of controversy because he don't even have a set co co uh co host. Ain't got a co host. You right. You right. <laughs> so you right. Right oh. now, his career is is really in a limbo. His credibility is right. going down the drain every every week. So right now, he's he's going to turn into a bad guy. He's supposed to be the real guy. Now he's going to just turn into an idiot. I mean, I and I look at the way he talked to his peers. Like him and Chris Bissard, like he kept, like they were talking about the whole Kevin Durant situation yesterday. It was all on Sports Center. I, I mean, he just he just cutting Chris Bissard off, talking all over top of him, and you know he just try to down talk people. But you know when it comes to when them and I'm, and I'm shoot, but I'm just making it the bottom line. When he has, when he said something out of line that got like Michelle Beadle upset, and you know what I mean, and other white people upset, they put that motherfucker on the soapbox and he apologized. Yep. He gets back on the, oh, He gets back and apologizes Like with no hesitation And keeps it the fuck moving But he makes it his fucking business To do this type of corny shit And you know what I mean And and, and, and where we from man in the streets Niggas get niggas get fucked up for that You understand what I'm saying And I ain't talking no gangster shit But that's just what it is Especially when you claim And you from Queens Hollis, Queens, New York this, 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 I'm the fuck how old you are People you know right from wrong you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just like, it's just, it's just, you're doing too much. With, with the Kerry White situation. He should have just said a little comment, kept it moving. He didn't have to just talk because to him, bring up LeBron White funny. to say, this is how you should do it. Like, how Kerry going to look at that man in the, like, he could never interview Kerry, ever, after he, just, and just that's what I'm saying. that man White on this national is, TV. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You, 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 you putting all the pieces together. We already said that he can't, and LeBron don't give him interviews no more. He can't interview LeBron. You know he can't interview KD. Now he done violated Steph. He ain't gonna be able to violate Steph. This nigga still stuck with talking to AI. Having conversations with Alan Robinson. Yeah, he probably he bring up, he, he, he ain't just you know, AI. I, I, I had a talk with Iverson, and all he do is just shake his head. 
Come on, that, that's just a little, that's just a little cold. Like, he, he bring up Ivers and make it seem like, yeah, I still got career failure. I'm I mean, still so connected, they yeah. Yeah, still connected. That's, that's what he do. That's why they yeah, always try to show up they go to get this a second. It's straight. It's straight weak, man. If you want to talk about something being weak, it it is just bad, bad. Right, man. But go show, man. We gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, man. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out on YouTube. Make sure y'all subscribe to the excuse me the T7M Radio YouTube channel. 